over here. All right, we're going to get out of that. All right, so we're just uh, here. Hello. Got a lot of uh, lives tonight, and the only re reason we're here is because we're trying to get some work done. And a lot of, uh, tonight. And only there we go. Pro mistake. All right, there we go. There we go. Goodbye. All right, cool. So I, we don't even know if anybody's going to be on. But we're gonna do some sorting. You know, One talk person about watching us. What? Let's go. That's us. Because uh, we have it open that that open tab. So you kind of always do that because you can toggle oh, back. I wish I had my Chromebook. Oh. You what? Oh, Michelle's here. Hey, Michelle. How are you? Hi, Chill Michelle. out. This Cooper here. Just talk to your brother. We'll get it. We'll get it straight. No worries. Who's Michelle? One of my uh, RVA reselling friends. So Michelle, I don't know if you were watching the um, Justin. Doesn't matter. She said hi. Um, the resell uh, with Justin, but um, he had sourced a bunch of stuff at some different Game Stops. So I went in one of the Game Stops tonight. I was out doing a little DD and and uh, went in there and I matched up the exact location where he took that haul video in, in one of the, one of his posts. And it's kind of neat the. Um, You'll be okay. Just chill. It's just chill. What's why is she freaking out? I don't know. She's got she's she's just going through some stuff right now. It'll be cool. We'll get it, we'll get it straight. Okay. Um your brother's awesome too, by the way. So and I appreciate the phone call. We'll, we'll talk later. Um, so we're talking about GameStop and they're gonna do Justin had mentioned they're gonna do four different concepts. And um, they're going to, like, remodel the basic store they've got. They're going to do a retro 50 store. They're going to do, like, a Capital One bank concept store and one other one other thing. And I asked them, are they going to close the store down or what's up? And then the guy said, no, we're going to do it, like, close the store down, do it overnight, open the next day. Because I was wondering what they were going to do with their inventory. Why are you looking at me? You look like you're looking straight at me cooper looks like he's looking straight I'll at me straight you know what you gotta look we're supposed to look look right up there i should stick a picture of you guys with the camera right there um so that's kind of an opportunity maybe to if if any of you i'm that's totally out of my wheelhouse and all that i didn't go in there i didn't buy anything i just i like dumpster diving and i was out there doing that tonight and i stopped in gamestop so um, another place that's remodeling in our area is Joanne Fabrics, and they got a bunch of uh, containers out, got new fixtures. They're dumping loads of fixtures, uh, which have nice casters on them, but I didn't have any of my tools to pull the casters off. Um, and if the, I, I doubt the dumpster's going to be there tomorrow because it was pretty full, and they'll probably be dumping more stuff. Um, but that's his blue steel face. That's what Michelle was saying. So that was um, that's another opportunity, Joanne Fabrics, and I got a nice uh, dry erase board in that area that they had gotten rid of, and so we're um, hanging out, you know, finding that. Um, so anyway, it's Thursday night, end of August. We got one more, I think, is it one more day? Two more days of August, and that, and then we're in September. And um, two, what? Two, I'm pretty sure. Oh, here's how you share a page. Wonder how that looks. Does that work? I don't know. I know you can do this and this and this. So this is I'm going through my shirts. This is one of my old um, shirts Put I got. Put that down. I'll get rid of that one. Yeah. All right, so hide that back down. It's old McCormick's uh, pub shirt, paint shirt, and I probably will like end up turning this into a rag. I'm trying to. My wife's got me going on um, cleaning out the closet. That's Cooper's running the controls now, Michelle. So. Um, Anyway, hey, neat thing about doing a live means I'm not spending money on someone else's auction right now. Oh, Cooper just typed hi. Um, 
but we're going to get some stuff done. So, Michelle, you don't have to stick around, honestly. We're just going to, like, um, probably spend 30 minutes here going through some clutter and sorting. Do you get watch hours for this? No, he's watching. Michelle is. Michelle is. Yeah, watch five minutes. I'm not keeping track of that. Until we start putting up decent content, I'm not content. Um, Wait, so what, what if you're streaming and no one's watching? Does that count? Um, it puts up content, and then I guess if people want to watch the live later, but most people don't watch the live. Well, some people watch lives, but most people watch, you know, the pre-recorded ah, video. So. Wait, so she lives in RVA? She's in Chester. Oh. She lives down in Chester. All right. Oh, so we yeah, got to put here. Um, yeah, I, I was doing my list of handyman stuff and all that. So I got to do Michelle. See Michelle Friday. So Michelle, I think we're headed down to Lake Gadsden tomorrow. So we'll we'll stop by and do our meetup. Does um, she have a YouTube? On our way. I don't think she does, but she's very Michelle's very supportive of of, of the YouTube community and all that. So um, all right, so Cooper's gonna do a little practice. He's gonna talk about what he thinks I do as a reseller on eBay. What? No. Let, let's just hear it. Let's probably we'll probably talk about this again when you're on another live. So but what am I talking about? Brady kind of wants to do a channel. Just tell everybody what you think we do and how we sell things on eBay and this, and where we store all our inventory. Okay. All right. So Michelle said no, she doesn't have a YouTube. All right. So what do we do, Cooper? I'm gonna like start putting up a few things while you're talking okay okay all right so you guys just so, listen to cooper and and you know be serious my dad stuff is about everywhere in the house pretty much like in the downstairs so like behind our couch over there it's like boxes kind of but he's got it down which is really good um and then back there in the room back there that used to be our dining room Took that over too. Full of boxes. But at least you have like a walk right here. That's like boxes stacked on top of the table, under the table, and like all around the room. And then some of like this over here. And then he has like all his boxes in the front and then our playroom. So yeah. Some right here. It's it. So what are the, what do we call the piles? What are they called, call, Cooper? If Don't you call not listed. Drunk piles? Debt piles. Debt piles, I know. Or death piles. So it used to be, all this used to be in my room. But um, I moved from me and Brady's room to having the like room over the garage, which is way better, so I don't have to be with him. And so this is all moved down here. But it's actually kind of better having your own room. It is better having your own room. Uh, I don't know how All to right. say it. All right, so now tell them the process of how you list something. I want to hear what you think, how you list an item. That this is legal. Tell them if you've ever listed an item. Yeah, I have. And so how do you list an item? What do you do? How do you decide if you even want to sell it? You have to it has to look good. Um, like not that many scratches. Like if it's a boss, boss must be good um so then you take the pictures well, you gotta that, be do you research it first or yeah, yeah 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 right, so, so my research? dad always so like before he gets it buys it anything he always will scan it which is good so you can sell how see how much the price is probably list it lower then you get more sales and then go home take nice clean pictures Make sure they're really good. And then, you know, you list it. Get How it sold. How long is the listing good on eBay? I have no idea. 30 days and then it re-ups. Re it used to be you had a choice, but now they, it's good till canceled. What is this? Which means you have to take it off in order to cancel it. And I'll cancel it. Yeah. Oh. All right, what else should I talk about that? So, how many listings do you think we have with all the junk we have in our house? Definitely over a thousand for sure. Definitely only two hundred and fifty. Let's sell. 
Oh, that's true. You're not up right, as so much let's anymore. My, Who's this? Oh, look. Girl? I don't know. I don't Patricia's know to, here. So I didn't know how to say your name for yeah. sure. Yeah. Because like. So she Patsy has, Crafty. Oh, oh yeah, Patsy look. Crafty. That's I was I, I oh, thought looked look. like False Craft. You the, um, can call me Patsy. Okay. Oh yes, I do the same. I scan on Amazon or eBay. Yeah, Amazon is great because you scan it and it's already the listing's already built. You just have to put whether it's new, your price, and all that. So do you do, um, Patricia? Do you do um, FBA or just fulfillment, merchant fulfilled, and all that? I've got a little bit of um, I've got a little bit of Amazon merchant fulfilled, but most of my business is eBay. And I'm a small seller. I average about an uh, item and a half a day. I think I was checking today. One my, day you don't, I agree. My numbers are like, what, 82 items sold in the last 60 days. And uh, the average sale price was 26.2. And a lot of my items were free shipping. So my profit on those is probably, I have about a probably 50 to 60% profit margin on that stuff. Um, but it's not a not a total legitimate business yet. So hopefully I'm relatable to those people that are just um, can't relate to the three to four or five thousand dollar month profit. But we're close to eighteen hundred. Our mortgage payment is eighteen hundred, and probably half of the time during the year we we can pay that with eBay. So oh, she does eBay too, or Etsy. So we've got one listing Gosh, on Etsy. Mark. I got confused after I did the like two or three. Um, there you go, Cooper. Look at that. Cooper's Cooper's Cooper needs to be my technical guy. He'll figure it out better. Um, and then Cooper, we can do banners up here if you want. You type that in, and then you can type in. Let's see. Click on that one. That was one I did before. No, that one. Yeah. Paperwork sort. We'll be doing that in a minute. What else? What's not? So we can put whatever we want in there. So, but Etsy is, uh, I've got some unique stuff I need to put on Etsy. And then I think that were they talking Macari or Poshmark today about um, clothing, selling clothing so much better on that. I've kind of lost interest in my clothing side. So, all right. So Cooper, look, you can go over this. Awesome. So you go back over here and so you can check our live. There's our chat on our live, and we're but we're on a delay of about. Why is that? That's just the way it goes. So that's our live, and then you go over to there, and it's about a ten second delay. So we mainly sell hard goods, um, but it's pretty much anything that we've got a good good little profit margin on. I had a, um, but it's mainly hard goods. So I'm looking over. I've got glassware. I've got coffee mugs. I've got, I'm just trying to think of some of my inventory. I've got shoes. I've got, um, what else we got in the eBay room? Filters. We've got some hardware. Junk. I used to have a hardware uh, a handyman business. So I'm familiar with like Home Depot and Lowe's. So like faucet fixtures, some of that. Um, what else do we have in there? Oh, a new guy, a new guy, a new guy. Who? I've never seen him before. Oh, no, that's a uh, sister uh, landscaping company cooper you'd like that because you mow yards and all that i just they were on How do you um, know him? it's two girls oh yeah click on it i went Let i just commented on their show or hold on well, we can look at them later but we subbed to their channel and they had hey. to, they had a lawnmower breakdown matter of fact if you guys haven't they're they've got a, a jar landscaping that's in the chat go sub to them they're two young girls i think they're 17 somewhere around 17 18 years old and they've got a landscaping business and they, they had a business plan and they're sitting at the kitchen table talking about their business plan and their ideas and how people, whether they take them serious or not being so young, but they made a quality uh, move. They had a, a lawnmower broke down. They ended up having to go buy another lawnmower and um, they bought another lawnmower because it's like they had to get the job done. Just because your machine breaks down doesn't mean you quit your job. And so I think they're going to be okay. Focus on customer service and build your whole business on referrals. That's what I did when I had my handyman business. We didn't do any advertising except my customers did my it. My son is a landscaper for Hi. me. Hi. Hi. Oh, so Patricia, yeah. So sub to JAR Landscaping then. 
So I think I met them through Joy Show, Be the Difference, um, with Joy the other night and subbed on them. I think that's where I went through. There's so many different communities out there, but it's important. That even if you don't watch all the content, sub them, help them out. Can we and, go watch them after this? Yeah, we'll watch them after that. Yeah, Cooper's a good uh, – we we're 20 now. That is the story when we started out. Oh, wow. So they're 20, so it was like three years ago. Um, so, um, Cooper I just did. has a little line mowing jobs and he likes getting his money because he can, um, Good job. he can, uh, pay Tax. his bats. He can pay for his baseball bats and all that. So yeah, I haven't got one in a while. Yeah. His brother Brady just got a bat. How much was that bat? 280 some dollars. Oh my gosh. I get, I, I I didn't spend 287. Brady spent half of that. But anyway, he got up the bat the other night and um, struck out. he struck out. It's funny because he thought the bat was going to do the work. Nah. He still had to ha have the skill to line the bat up. But it was funny. He was looking at that bat. Why did I just strike strike out? Um. So. And then he walked. I think. And then he got a pop fly. Yeah, and but got, he got double, and right? Got, no, it was single. A but, single. But, but he got really lucky because the center fielder dropped it. Yeah, but. He didn't quit. He kept running through the base because you never yeah. know. It's not done until the out is called. That's so, awesome. That's the way you do it. Yeah, talking about I, I don't. They earn their money, and then I, you know, since they earn their money, I can't complain when they want to spend two hundred dollars on a bat. So, we'll go look at them. So, so Cooper, what are some of your goals with your money? What are you thinking? I don't know. I kind of want a new baseball bat now too. You do want a new? So his little brother's got one now. He wants one. Yeah. Um. Maybe a new baseball glove. Baseball glove. Okay. What else? What else? Kind of want like a water trampoline for Christmas. Oh, water trampoline. For the lake. Yeah. Um. Hey, J-A-R, Jar, where are you guys from? I forgot to look in your thing. I, I, I'm assuming you're kind of up north because you kind of had your um, hoodies on and it looked a little cold. What type of vintage items do you have, John? So vintage stuff, I've got like buttons. I've got, uh, let me show you these drawer pulls. Keep talking, Kipper. Everybody what, likes what am I talking tell. about? I forgot. Whatever. Talk, talk, what, what oh, is that vintage Illinois, Dad. Illinois. Okay, so it is probably pretty cold, huh? Um, what else? Um, let's do our little show and know. tell. What else? Oh, what else? Do I want? So we're gonna do. We'll do that now. I want to know. Let's try to listen to music in my room for my birthday, kind of. What else? Let's see. What else are we going to show? Let's show this. I'm from Florida. Patsy's from Florida. Oh, she's Florida? <gasps> the hurricane. Yeah, ask her about it. That's good. Yeah. I, I just don't know that. The hurricane. Oh, no. Are you evacuating, Patsy? All right. So these are just a few of the things we've got out of our little glass cabinet over here. I can't figure it out. You got to yeah. figure it out where it is and yeah. hold it up. So this is nickel plated silver. Yes, I. Yes, it's coming. So that was actually at a church sale. So hold that back up, Cooper. So that that is actually what I call a three fluted. Not at the flower time. vase. So flowers can go in here and then like a, maybe a frog up top with flowers. So that's one of my old, old pieces. I hope not of. too, Patsy. Uh, I've been pretty warm just cold for our AC. Yeah, AC's freezing sometimes. So the principal, so I'm going into middle school and my mom teaches here. And I went to like this intro camp during the summer and it's hot outside and the principal blasts. The AC like blast. It's like freezing cold. It feels like like forty degrees in there. And I forgot to bring a jacket every day. All right. But then I got used to it the last day, so it was okay. 
So these are some cool, I call them Trivial Pursuit door, drawer pulls. Thank you, AJA. Stay safe. Yeah, stay safe, Patsy. Hope you okay. Yeah, yeah, talking about the storm. Yeah. They did, they did like so many hurricanes. All right, so there's those drawer pulls, vintage drawer pulls. See that this, Patricia, I think would go good on um, Etsy. That's and the I, good thing about living in like Illinois and uh, in Indiana. You don't have that many tornadoes. You don't have that. Do you have tornadoes in there? Maybe they don't have hurricanes. Yeah, that's Normally the good by thing. then it just turns into a pretty bad, you know, a chill out storm. But that's very good that you're learning your geography, Cooper. All right, so that was item number two, show and tell. This was a uh, after baseball tournament flea market find. I thought it was super cool, and of course, space. It? Space, yeah. This is actually a, a flask or a, a decanter. Come on, Dad, use those guns. I don't want to break the cork. Yeah, but don't break it. <laughs> oh shoot! I did. Is it like glued on there? Yeah, dude? that's okay. I knew it. All right, that's what happens when you do show and tell. But it's a um, Thompson's Apollo Decanter Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Man, I bet you if I had – what was the date stamp on this? Does it, yeah, we just broke it, but that's okay. That's all part of reselling. What um, – look at the cork probably will come out right now. Oh, it's dry. You know, shove it down? No, because then I have to get it out. We'll have to figure it out. We'll drill it out or whatever. But as you can see, this this item actually isn't even listed because I liked it That's so much. That's good. So, but what I was saying is space stuff um, sells because all the SpaceX and all that that's coming back. So all the old space programs, the collectors are reinterested in all the the space stuff. No, wor no worries on that. I wish it had some bourbon in it. That would, it, you know what? It doesn't have bourbon in it. Dad, you need some but cola? oh man, it actually smells like bourbon. <laughs> it smells good. Yeah, what's bourbon? It's a, like an alcohol. Smell this. Smell this. Me? Yeah, smell that, Cooper. See if you like that smell. Oh my gosh. See if that smells good. Can you smell it kind of like? It's like bourbon and Coke, like what Uncle Mark would drink. Do you need some tequila with it? No, tequila. No, I need some Coca-Cola and some real whiskey. Hey, that's worth it. Thanks, Patricia. All right, so let's not break these, though. I don't want to – that. we can we can fix the cork. Yeah, I'll take it. So, Where do you want it? I don't know. Put it back over in our cabinet, I guess. Put it, oh, and probably put that up – put it sitting on the cabinet – so this was at my last home show. I actually traded somebody for this. And it's like a fire. It's similar to like Fire King. But it's an old uh, camper that's cool. coffee mug. So that's the kind of stuff I like finding. Good, good shape. No chips. And I kind of, um, I didn't even really, re I think there was a comp or two on it. They had $10 on it. I think I can get probably about 18 to 22 85 for this, somewhere around there. And since it's more of a glass, what you for? Uh, some of those, uh, the gas station tank measuring sticks. Those. All right, so you can put all this. Uh, I don't need these little pieces, but maybe put this back over there and then put that in the bottom drawer. How do you so, know all this I know. So, white glass vintage? Yes, yes. I have no idea. It's a dealership, uh, RV dealership out of Burstow, Oklahoma. What is the, what's the label on it? Let me see, Cooper. No, on the side. What's the label say on the side? What, what's, Oh, yeah, Bristol, Oklahoma. Bristol, Oklahoma. Oh, Iowa and Pennsylvania also. Oh, and, and Iowa and Pennsylvania. So, Owen, yeah, I, I kind of buy what, buy what I like. And Pennsylvania. not to pat myself on the back, but most of the time I have a pretty good eye. So those we got from Buy Nothing. 
Do you guys know about buy nothing? Um, in our area, we've got a bunch of like um, areas of the city that are kind of divided up into different neighborhoods. And we've got what's called a buy nothing Facebook page where you basically list um, gifts that you want to give or you list wishes of things you want to you're wishing for. And then people respectfully respond back like um, this was one of my latest. I would I would not go buy these. But that would help maybe organize my keys at home. She had two of them, and I said I only needed one, and I asked basically, would you respectfully consider my family? And um, I got them. So then I go by and pick them up. It doesn't – Anything white glass is a good Yep. So yeah, like I milk glass, white glass, glass, Fire King. I did everything white glass, okay? So um, are you guys enjoying this no, show and no, tell? No, I'll keep – I'll keep doing it. So yeah, we've got I'm a couple going people. To bed at 10 I'm okay. To oh yeah, we're trying to get on a uh, schedule for uh, back to school. All right. So they're liking show and tell. Okay, Cooper, you talk. I'll go find some more show and tell. That'll get me out of sorting, and I can always sort more. tonight. I did send off some seashells today to uh, Norgus, Darlene. Okay, so Should, what am I talking about? Whatever you want to talk about. I already talked about how much junk you lost. How much what? junk? What else? So, we're going to have to clean up all this stuff. Where did our list go? Dad, oh, here's our know. list. All right, Wait, Dad, how many subs do you have? Let me check. What? Why did you say that? I'm checking how much Who asked that? It doesn't have. matter. When do you start school? That's what they're asking, Cooper. Oh, uh, what did I saw? Tuesday? Tuesday. No. Yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday. All right. So just keep talking. The third. So keep talking. Is it the third, Dad? Somewhere around there, right after Labor Day. Yeah. So basically, we have like a new chest of, like a new um. Superintendent or what? No. Yeah, county. County superintendent. Yeah, and um. So for sixth graders, since I'm going in sixth, and for ninth graders, they go a day early before everyone else to get like used to the school and everything. But for elementary school, everybody goes on the same day. So like when elementary school sixth and ninth graders are going, like that would be all first day. But then seventh, eighth graders, and tenth, eleventh, twelfth will go on Wednesday, and that will be their first day since like we get used to the school and they're already used because they already had a year there. You ever hear of lacrosse? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I did a um yes, lacrosse camp one year at the Y. All right. Yeah, well. I play basketball, travel ba travel baseball, and then um I play basketball in the um winter and winter and summer. All right, talk a little slower. Oh, I talk fast. So. All right, tell them something else. I don't know. Tell him what you don't like about your brother. He's annoying. Yeah. And when I was talking about my room, he peed on my bed. That's why I had to move. I got mad at him. Yeah, don't, don't give away all your secrets. <laughs> um, I don't know what else to talk about. My son was a goalie on on the call. Oh, my still, my son. Ugh. All right, let's do a little few more show and tells, and then that's cool. Forward. Does he still play lacrosse? No. What is, is he? I see you like that basketball. Yeah. Okay. I should put that away. <laughs> All right, so let me clear this plate off here real quick. I should probably put it back over. What? Here, why don't you put this plate away, Cooper? Man, Patricia, thanks for that bourbon smell. I don't drink anymore, but um, I enjoy it. Okay, put that in the uh, kitchen, please. All right, so here's my dumpster dive for the day. It's for a Canon compact printer, and most likely it was a 
it says damage return, but basically what it is, is considered uh, is just an open box return. And so I will list it exactly like that, open box return, and find a new home for it. Um, take pictures of it, open box. If any of the, the packaging inside is open, I'll take pictures of that. And hopefully I can find a new home for it. Save, the save it from the landfill. So that was that. Almost 10 o'clock. That would three hours for the game. All right. That's that. Here's another DD find. I'm like, what is that? A little tough to figure out. Uh, well, they're, they're like uh, toner cartridges and print, uh, like photo printer paper. One of the cartridges isn't open, and the other one looked like it was open, and then they just couldn't figure out how to stick it in the machine. Is it dirty yet? And they oh, stuck it go. stuck it back in the. Bye, uh, y'all. All right, Cooper's going to. Are you going to bed? Yeah. All right, no device. So I know. No device, no cell phone. Okay. I don't have it. I'll take it away. Okay, good. So this is a like a lazy Susan. So you're on that Nicely side. constructed, but it didn't have any of the things. But it, it's this is one of my um, hallware when I was buying restaurant stuff. And so it would be something like that where you'd find multiple, probably come in a little smaller condiment plates that would hook them around there and then you could serve multiple little con condiments. So this will probably be a flea market most likely because who would know how to search for this on eBay? And then when it fit the dishes right and all that, it's just a, Probably about a three to five buck sale at the flea market and go from there. All right, so Patricia, here is another cool thing. I need to put this on Etsy. Do you know what this is? Anybody? Bueller, Bueller. You guys are getting some cool stuff tonight. It's like VIP group. What do you think that is? What do you think that is? I used to use it in my apartment as a fruit tray, bananas, oranges, whatever. Michelle, you got it. It's a vintage. Of course, now that now that everything's like LED, but it's an old vintage uh, dental light shade. It's got the two handles on the end. I'll probably put a price. I think I think I had this on eBay for a while. It's an oddity. Tiny sink. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it's like a tiny bird bath. But um. Yeah, it's, so it's a dental light shade. So the light bulb would kind of go down. The bright light would be down through here, and then they would adjust it to aim into your mouth. I think I've got two of these. And I am trying to think. I think I dumpster dove these or got these at a government auction, something like that. That's a neat thing, Patricia, about repurposing is just because one person thinks it's a dental light shade, Another person might think it's a bowl. Another person might think it's a water fountain or a sink. Who knows? It looks like an architectural, like a dome to a stadium or something, a design of a stadium. Looks like an eyeglass for a big guy. Who knows? So anyway, that's one of my odd, my old vintage things. These are kind of going out. These probably still are used like in um, African nations and um, South America and all that. There's a big market for stuff that is no longer used in the U.S. medical equipment, and they ship it down. And I bet you stuff like this is still used in South America and all that. All right, one more yard sale deal. So I like finding old razor blades and old razors that are new in package. 
And this is one of my finds. It's a disc flash and a bar flash. Believe it or not, people buy these because they buy the old cameras and they need film and flashes and all that. This has got a, I'm trying to, it doesn't even have a no expiration date on the uh, coupon. I'm trying to think if it had a, whatever. Uh oh. Brady's come in. How's football? You want to say hi real quick? You got a lot going on. Got a few of our friends checking us out. So um, this I found at Goodwill Pay by the Pound here in Richmond. And I just like the, uh, the detail on it. It just had great um, detail. You could tell it, you know, the, the cheaper ones. And it's kind of small. I'm coming now. No, we live from the end of the end. And I just like it. It's got just good construction to it. Your mac and cheese is on the front porch. That you like. Oh, this one's for you. And one of your clues, I guess, is your older construction. They always had um, flathead screws, no Phillips head. And I just like this. So I haven't sold it yet, but this to me would be a good Etsy item. It's got a. Um, it looks like a V, maker's mark of a V, maybe. I don't know. Can you see, like, right? See that V next to the. Next to the flathead screw there. There it is. Sorry for my roughed up hands. I did. Hopefully my fingernails are at least clean. So anyway, that's Etsy. And then this is my, I think this is my only item on Etsy right now. And my Etsy store is just Dad's Vintage Garage. And I do need to, I should make an effort really and give it a try. And this is an old, just an old, very miniature ceramic. I don't know. Juicer. It's not perfect. It's got some cracks on it. But again, I like stuff like this. Kevin's so nice. I want to show them the best mac and cheese in the world. Oh, so we've got a neighbor that does eBay also in retail arbitrage. And um, we share our different buys and all that. So the boys have found the um, Cracker Barrel Mac and Cheese five pack. And so their regular retail price was five ninety nine, and then it was seventy five percent off that, so it was a buck twenty five. So twenty five cent a pack, and it is good. The kids love that. So, all right, now Brady's doing his show and tell. What what's the name? Have you named your bat yet, Brady? Nope. nope. Show me your bat. We were talking about it. Here, I'll move out of the way. So you can introduce who you are. Because I'm not, I think Michelle knows you. I'm not sure Patricia does. And then I don't know if the girls from uh, JAR Landscaping are in here, but they've got a, a lawn mowing and landscaping service. Yeah. And since you mow, you might be interested in subbing up on their channel. <clears throat> so, all right. So, so tell them what happened. How'd you get it? Did you? So, I mow grass at my grandpa's, and I get it, get paid for it. And so, my grass mowing money. I got a new baseball bat, so I got a, a 31 inch, 31 inch, 31 inch 
21 ounce Demurini CF Zen 2019. And I got with some more of my money, got some new cleats and yeah, got some cleats and then my bat. So I had a scrimmage. But I didn't have my cleats then, so I used my bat, and I struck out once, I got hit once, and then I hit a double. So, um, right, so you can look like up here or look at yourself. My best hit was I hit a cop fly to a gap and. I got a double on it. Uh, he dropped the ball, and yeah. All right. Is that, are you done? Um. For now. Maybe. So, All right. You good? Yeah. All right. So we've got a few more show and tells, and then I know you guys got other. I, I want to just value your time. We've been on for like forty-one minutes. Forty. Forty-one. All right, so, um, oh, J.A.R. said good job, so they're listening. Everybody did. So, um, Cooper, actually, on my rent, on my handyman business, some of my customers, I've got, oh, Joy's here from Be the Difference, the positive lady. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, the positive lady? Yeah. The we still haven't done our boards. We have not done our boards. Okay, I'm going to do one more, a couple more. Wait, Sharon, wait, Kate Dispenser. Vintage tape dispenser. That's got a magnet on it. Very heavy. Somebody will be interested in that. This is kind of an oddity. This is um, Bruce Jenner's Decathlon Microsoft um, game, video game, sports simulation game for the computer. There's a picture of him. World's greatest athlete back in 1976 is what they called Bruce Jenner. He's just got a different lifestyle now. Nobody took that. That I don't know. This probably wouldn't be uh, Etsy appropriate. So I'm just showing you all the different. I'm all over the place, Patricia. Severn Peanut co hat probably I had wouldn't didn't wasn't able to find any comps on it but that's actually a patch and it's got the snap back I suspect this is probably 70s 80s um, I need to like store it get it wet and then put it on a mannequin rally roots Allie was telling us how to store hats or if they're out of shape you wet them and then stick them on a mannequin head and dry them so that's cool um so this is one of my favorite church finds i like um vintage um oh i was looking up i was doing an auction online auction the other night and they had hair um hair dryers and i was looking up a sears and roebuck hair dryer and if you guys get a chance, look up 357 hair dryer. And 357 is a type of handgun. And there's actually a hair dryer that is in the shape of like a 357. And um, they're selling for $100, believe it or not. Kind of crazy. So this is a nice little carrying case. And inside the carrying case... Is a little electric plug and then a little top that opens up and the top is cracked and then it's got all these little curling irons and it does heat up all nice and I can't remember if it's got a drawer in it with clips nah but is that kind of cool and I think I got this for under oh there's clips in here Purchased January 19th, 1970 at
best products. It's called a GE hair setter. Oh, Joy, I want to let you know I did take a shower before I went live, so I, I'm good to go on that front. But I haven't done my cardio. I'm going to do next week when the kids get back to school, not to use my kids as an excuse why I don't exercise, but I've got uh, great plans for next week and great habits starting next week once they do go back and um, what I've got on my schedule. So, all right. So that's that. And then my last two, I just want to show you two rings that I got. And I think I got, I can't remember if I got these at Uncle Jed's, but I think this is like a taupe. I don't know. I just liked it because it looked kind of earthy. I am no hand model. What's a oh 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 oh? So I need to get a size on that, and that's sterling, Mark Sterling, AK, and it's got a nice little split band. I'm learning the lingo. Is that right? Is it called split band? And the face is about probably about an inch by three quarters. And then the other one, this one came out of a house that we were cleaning out in a drawer. And, of course, we had a lowball offer like 30 bucks on this sucker. And I don't know anything about the stones on that. But it's kind of got a pretty setting on it. So... Patricia, that's kind of the, just everything oddball that I, anything that I can kind of find and I kind of like. And I've started anything I retail arbitrage now, either I'm sure I can sell it or I'm sure I can use it in my own own, own family. Moonstone. And actually the Moonstone's a little loose. I'm going to do it, make a uh, ring, um, display case with some foam that i dumpster dived i just haven't done it yet so but anyway all right joy what's up are you still around here you just popped in oh good seven watches if kendall's here she'd say thumbs up we got three thumbs up you can do thumbs down too if you don't like it that's fine it's interaction supposedly and then we love comments kendall's gonna be mad that that she didn't get to go live with us Uh, so I've got a couple videos up and coming that I've been promising you guys. One was a um, matter of fact, I'm going to start my list. We've got a um, the cork video, the bottle tree video, that uh, the paint, uh, that cardboard um, thingy-majiggy video, and then the ring uh, display case. I think that's all we're doing. This thing is huge. So, no Kindle show today, Michelle. So, hey, Michelle, before I forget, make sure you guys um, just touch base with me in the morning, okay? Um, yep, Joy's getting ready for bed. We're probably getting ready for bed, too. Let's let's highlight that. Look at that. Be the difference clothing. Yep, getting ready for bed. Michelle, Joy said hi. So I did bid on some hats today at an auction so I could have some for Darlene's Friday hat day. I didn't get any hats. I did get a cool oak chair for like 12 bucks. Um, two mirrors and then an, I think an owl, an owl print or a stitched owl because people collect owls. And... Um, I'm just messing around. Um, okay, have a night. Uh, it'll be nice watching you. Hey, thank you guys for showing up. Hey, everybody's going. Let's just call it a night. Be safe, Patricia, down there in Florida. And um, checking in. Thanks for checking in. 
and watching our silliness. We're just just kind of hanging out and all that and just trying to make progress a little bit every day. So thank you all so much. And um, Brady, you have anything else you want to say? Oh, my gosh. How do you get rid of it? There we go. All right. So from Richmond, Virginia, Thursday night, thank you guys for watching and have a safe weekend if we don't talk to you soon. And thank you all for supporting um, supporting the community and supporting Dad's Vintage Garage and letting me enjoy what I do and spend time with, with my family. So we'll talk to you later. Stay positive. Be positive. Stay positive. Be a blessing.